YVR airport and we are in first stop Hermes. Some gorgeous pieces here. It's so hard to get into the Hermes store in Vancouver so getting here at the airport is actually so lucky. Um, love some of these mules. I am a big fan of Hermes shoes so I have um, a couple of pairs of Orans but I definitely want to branch into the sneakers and the boots um this is gorgeous with the white stitching and some fun belt buckles i didn't realize they had enamel some cute slgs on display I used to really want a click clack, but I'm actually, it's not a huge thing for me anymore. What do you guys think? Do you still like click clacks and the enamel bracelets from Hermes? Ferragamo at YVR is actually so good. They always have really good sales. Um, I don't buy Ferragamo anymore, but I do have a couple pieces from way back. All the bags at the front here, they were all, I think it was 30 or 40%. And this is actually for the men's section, but this was also on sale, 30% off, um, and actually a really cute toiletry bag. I definitely would use this. I definitely am um, unisex for sure. This was also a bag that was 30% off. After the sale, it was about $940 Canadian dollars. So actually really great price. You could cross body this one too. They actually had a bunch of like, these ones were all 30% off. So they actually had some very classic styles that were 30 off. This really reminded me of the Prada one. I'm surprised everyone's jumping on that puffy pillow train. I'm not actually a huge fan of these, but it's an interesting take on how Ferragamo decided to do it. Just a tiny bit of Bottega, and luckily there wasn't many stores that were open while we were here. Our flight was at um, 1.30 a.m., so by that time, um, most of the shops had already closed. This is the new Sunset Collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Do you like the on-the-go bag? I think it's such a great travel piece. And the inside is just a beautiful purple. Just to end off this little shopping bit with some Canadian jade. Some really cute polar bears. I really like these. I thought they were so, like, really good as gifts. Hey everyone, my name is Rosanna, and I just want to show you what we're up to. So, we just saw a little shopping vlog at YBR, and we are now in Hong Kong in quarantine. So, hence, no makeup. No contacts like I mean I'm not doing anything anyways this is my day three in quarantine um, I mean the first day was completely gone to jet lag and then the next two days was prison really um, I'm actually quarantining with my mom um, in a tiny bedroom a tiny hotel room and I have a slight regret to it but um, I mean it's fine we have seven days here um, and we're on day three already and all the meals um, they, they come like they prep they prep the meals, um, they come and they're all kind of like takeout food. My mom hates the food. Um, I think it's fine, it's okay. Um, and really the process of coming to Hong Kong was really interesting. I didn't know really what to expect, but de definitely really strict. Um, so I went to Portland probably a few months ago and it was actually really chill. So I'm from Canada and when we went to Portland, we took a quick antigen test, no one even checked it. And 
it was all fine and then when we came back no quarantine or anything needed when i went to hong kong so we need to get a pcr test which is more expensive and everyone checked everything there was like so many forms to fill out and we actually got to hong kong um it was usually it's like a 20 minute customs um to like just show your id passport whatever and then you leave um, but this time it took like three hours three hours just for like walking around the entire terminal just to get your tests some forms and more tests forms it just kept going on and on and the walks were so long and it was so deserted like the airport was so empty compared to normal um, i mean compared to like pre-pandemic which is the last time i really traveled internationally um and then really yeah it was kind of almost like a squid game it was kind of weird and scary but it was fine everyone was actually quite nice it was just a lot of regulation um and from literally when i left my house in canada to arriving to the hotel in hong kong it was exactly 24 hours i was crazily tired um that's it for now i will check in with you more later bye so here is the first meal And here is a collection of food that we have been eating in quarantine. Some of it is okay and some of it is uh, less okay. So something cool about quarantine is that you can still actually order takeout or people can drop things off to you. So my brother um, dropped us uh, some fruits. I actually ate some already. Um, and uh, he also gave us chicken breasts. Interesting. Um, but really appreciated. He got us chips and cup noodles. So we got a bunch more gifts. We got some face masks, um, some dragon fruit, some fancy pears. I thought they were apples. Bananas and got some uh, cake. Day seven. So today is my last day of quarantine. I am so excited to get out of here. Um, I am almost, almost packed. Um, that's why you see me with finally with a little bit of makeup um, and contacts. And uh, I am out of here in two hours. Every day has been a little bit repetitive. Um, it's actually gone by pretty quick for the last couple of days. The first three days was grueling. Um, and then I kind of got used to the routine. Like I'm still working. So I'm like working and then Netflix for eight hours. So that's kind of how my um, day has been going. And I've been really thankful for this a small um, resistant band that I've just been playing with for at least like half an hour a day, um, just so that I'm not a complete slob when I get out of here. I already feel like super bloated because I'm like just eating, sleeping, Netflix, sleeping, Netflix, and I'm not really walking much. Like I looked at my step counter the other day and it was um, 30 steps for the entire day. So you can see I'm just going to the bathroom and back to bed. Um, and just a little bit more about how the quarantine worked all in total if I didn't mention already. So before I got to Hong Kong, I actually had to take a PCR test 48 hours before boarding. Um, and that had to be negative. That honestly gave me so much anxiety. And then when I got to Hong Kong, they took a PCR as well as antigen test when I was at the airport. And then when I got to the hotel, every single day we had to take an antigen, so a rapid test every single day. So every day we do it by ourselves. And on the fifth day, um, it's a seven day quarantine. And on the fifth day, they actually came by our room, stopped right outside the front and then um, made us take a PCR test. And then we also need to do it on the 9th and the 12th day, which is no longer quarantining in the hotel here. Um, but we're allowed to like go home or wherever other hotel you want to go. Um, but you have to go back to some regulated facility on the 9th and the 12th day to take another PCR test. So, and then I think after that you are done. So hopefully in the next week everything still stays fine and then i am free in that sense um for the next little bit traveling around hong kong so i'm gonna be showing you lots of cool places and a little bit more vloggy i definitely will go a little bit of luxury shopping because i love that um hong kong has amazing shops and stores so we will get to see all of that really really soon so bye i hope you enjoy this and um see you later Mwah.
Damn. Oh, shit. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs>